update today, November 20th, 2011. Um, got some improvements here. Got uh, my, my uh, setup is more uh, compacted and got rid of a lot of wiring I didn't need and went to bigger wiring for what I was using uh, to handle the power. Um, put a relay. I uh, stuck a relay on here uh, to power the, uh, the motor when the power source comes on to power the field. Works pretty good here, I'll show you. Everything goes off at the same time, and it comes on at the same time. And um, what else is new? Um, I routed my my uh, T is a little different here. Um, seems to not seems to flow a little better. And shortened up my lines. Um, now I've got this mounted. My reservoir is mounted on the post. The cell is mounted. Power supply is mounted. Everything's looking better now. Um, also. I got a shunt on here now instead of using um, these type meters here which offer battery chargers which you know are definitely better than nothing but I spend a fair amount of time calibrating this one and uh, it's uh, 9 um, 1 ohm 50 watt resistors in parallel 1% uh, accuracy on these and it's been running for three four hours at least here and uh, show you they're warmed up to where are we at here about uh, I saw yeah about one one hundred one thirty Fahrenheit um, which uh, which is fine within the data sh the data sheets for these uh, no problem um, and the uh, alternator it's still it's holding right in there about 140 or 135 to 140 um, let's see here what we got some um, reservoir is saying 113. Nine return it says one ten output one. Well, I saw an eighteen in there, so so I think it's all within the realm of right about where it should be. Um, now this ohms on this. If I had one more of these, then it'd work out a little better. But I don't. Maybe I'll order one. Um, but so it comes out to point one 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 whatever on and on. Uh, ohms resistance. So uh, basically, what I, what I did, I just did a quick spreadsheet. So I, my shunt right now it's saying uh, 15 or 1.58, and oh shoot, you probably can't read this, but I'm looking on my table here just for a quick reference. Uh, one five. Eight, I'm just over 14.2 amps right there and then this here <coughs> is the voltage across the cell right there so uh, 15 35 36 volts across the cell um, wanted to go ahead and do a quick measurement here and see uh, see how this thing's doing um, again I couldn't find my other stopwatch so Dungeon done, done, we get to use this. It's so get it all set up here. Oh, this might be tricky. <laughs> Let me see if I can set this down. Sorry about that. Okay, um, can you still hear me? Go ahead and everything settle down here. And go. Oops. Didn't hit it right. 
and you start that over. Okay, and go. Slide right about there. Nineteen. <clears throat> see if I can see this here. Sorry about that. Um. Oh, hello. There, that works better. Get the light out of there. Uh, Nineteen point six five seconds, and that's that's been right about where it's been running. So. Uh, go over here and a little site that I like. Voltage 1535, 15.35 amps. We are at 1.58, say. And I'll look on the table just to check that out again. Um, one five. Okay, so fourteen point two. So fourteen point two amps, and we went nineteen point six five seconds for five hundred milliliters. Okay, not a full liter, half liter. And it says, bam, I'm right there. Right there, seven point zero zero four. Blah blah blah. So we are uh, we're right there. <laughs> I like it. Um, right now I'm working on uh, an electronic uh, flow meter, and uh, I get more of that done. Um, I'll share that with you. Uh, thanks for watching.